Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off the A side of Bubbling with one exception, which is impossible and we won't be doing it. Uh, this time we're going to be doing the B side of Bubbling, so here's the moon rock. Let's give it a whack and start collecting moons out of it. Um, I don't remember what sub areas this gives us. Uh, some of them might be hard, not sure. As you can see, there's two of them, so we'll be going to both. Uh, there's also some moons just sort of hanging out in the air, like that one. Uh, I believe you're supposed to bounce off the parasol to reach it. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, okay, that sub area is pretty close. Uh, actually, I'm going to head over to the... One of the fountains should be pretty close to here, right? Uh, yeah, that one's pretty close. Uh, I'm gonna head up into the glass palace now. Um, because the glass palace is a location containing several moons. If you look closely, you can see one on the side of the glass just there. Just spinning around. And if we jump in, we'll be able to see that there are a couple more moons to be had here. There's one inside the glass, and we can talk to Peach here. Oh my gosh, I ship it so much. Look at those cuties. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gay. Thanks, Peach. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So we're going to jump down inside the glass. Uh, yeah, she's talking about getting a nice meal because she's going to be going to luncheon soon, just like we are. Yeah, we just swim on down here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. And you can see there's one on the outside there. It is possible to climb up to it without jumping off the top of the glass. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, see if I can manage it. See, it's fairly obviously easy to do by doing from down here, but it is possible to do it from down here by climbing up the glass. So I'm going to see if I can. Uh, okay, the glass itself isn't wall jumpable, which makes things a bit tricky. Uh, <laughs> Hang on. Let me just let me just collect some coins because I hunger for costumes. As always. Uh, so yeah, you can climb into this bit of the glass super easy. Uh, pretty sure we can get up there. If we could triple jump, that would really help, but we can't, so we won't. Well, actually we can. Maybe, maybe I need a triple jump. Mm. Okay, we need a cap bounce to do that first bit. Oops. <laughs> you can see there's a bunny around there too. Uh, I believe what you're supposed to do is grab a rocket flower and get the bunny that way. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do it without one. Because there are rocket flowers on this ledge, which are pretty easy to reach, obviously. Um, yeah, you can do it without one. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, I just did a triple jump, so yeah, you can obviously do them. Uh, it's just, I'm not sure that's exactly the way we should be doing it. Okay, we're too close to the glass for that to work. Let's just back up a little bit. Okay, hmm. I did this, like, I already did get up there, but there we are. Did get up there? What am I saying? <laughs> okay, uh, now I think what we probably want to do... Yeah, because the glass, these bits of the glass are not, that part is wall jumpable, but the uh, sides don't seem to be for whatever reason. Which is kind of weird, like they look like they should be wall jumpable. But they are not. <sighs> Come on Mario, get up there. There's a moon, there's a moon to be had. <laughs> Maybe I will just do it the easy way. I don't know. Like, obviously, if you just launch into the glass with a fountain, you can easily just jump down and grab the moon, but I kind of wanted to do it a bit more trickily. But I'm having trouble for some reason. Hmm. 
Okay, so that first part's done. Um, so what do I do next? Let's see. Yeah, you can't wall jump off the actual like sides of the glass, the the legs or whatever. Trying to triple jump, but it didn't happen. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just probably gonna climb into the glass from the other way, but still, that should be doable. I'm just a little disappointed. Uh. There's a bunch more stuff underwater now. Um, I believe the uh, 2D section has another moon we can do, so I'm just gonna take a swim and have a look. Yeah, uh, you can see there's some notes now. Uh, we should be able to get these without too much trouble. I'm a little worried, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, first try, easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the only one in the maze, so we're done here. Okie doke. Uh, let's see. Uh, I believe there's now a bird flying around that we have to get, but we have a gushion, so it's not a big deal. Um, the bird is pretty easy to chase with a gushion and catch that way. So it's not too annoying compared to some of the bird moons where you don't really have anything like that. Like the one in New Dong City, <laughs> which is super annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so up here there's now a timer challenge, as you can see, uh, that we'll be, we'll be doing. Uh, I believe you just basically have to jump down into the water. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the last second, gosh. <laughs> uh, wait for Gabby to come back. Sub area is right here, so I'm gonna go have a look at it. I forget which one this is. I really love the fast pipe noise that it happens. Oh, it's this one. So yeah, I mentioned this back in New Dong City. Um, this is the harder version of this basically same challenge. There are spinies in it now instead of piranha plants, so they're unkillable. Uh, there's also holes in the ground so you can fall all the way through if you're not careful. Uh, basically, you want to try to get the spinies out of your way. Getting them outside is, a de is like a decent way of doing that. Uh, they won't walk off the edge by themselves, but you can knock them off by hitting them with Cappy with the right lineup. It's just tricky. Ugh. And yeah, hitting them with Cappy doesn't do any damage, it just knocks them around. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, basically you want to try to get them out of your, like, way by doing things like this. Turning it so that they're not on the same side of the ledges as you. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Shards. Uh, the uh, hidden moon is just here. You can see there's a hole in this one. So if you turn it to the right angle, you can see that you can drop down here and grab a moon. For some reason there's water down here. I don't really know why, because there's no fall damage in this game. It wouldn't matter if there weren't water. But ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah. There's water down here, who knows? Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's the hidden moon. The other one, we just gotta get the moon shards. So...
Oh my god. Goodbye, horrid spiny friends. <laughs> horrid friends. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, here if you slip up, you will fall and die. There is nothing below you right now. Uh, so be careful. Because uh, you, you don't want to fall and die. Uh, I would not recommend falling and dying. It's probably not, not ideal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's not really a problem because your moon shards and stuff don't reset when you die. So we still only have to get one moon shard, which is that one over there. Um, it might be possible to go up from underneath and get it that way. Uh, if in a normal playthrough I would try, but um, I think it might be too tricky without limitations. Oh god. Yeah, it stuns you for a very long time when you put against a wall. You've got to be really careful. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab that. There we go. Oh, oh gosh, I didn't realize that wasn't... Oh, oh god. Oh my god. <gasps> this is really scary. <laughs> Fun though. Because <laughs> yeah, normally it's pretty easy to bonk the spinies off the edge and get them out of your way. But because I have to jump to throw Cappy, it's hard. <laughs> I might need a life up heart. I'm going gonna to give myself a life up heart just to... Make this a little less arduous. Beep. Okay, holding the button. I put Peach in the right place. Accidentally press the pause button. It's not working. I don't know if the touch point is supposed to be... There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie. Okay. So... What we gotta do is just. I reckon I'll lead you outside so you're like over here and not bothering me inside the maze. Come this way. That's it. Keep coming. Keep coming. There we go. Okay, now right out of the way. You shouldn't be bugging me when I try to do this next bit. Uh, this guy might be bugging me though. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that, that moonshot is actually floating above above the ground. It's not, like, the platform doesn't go to it. You have to throw Cappy to collect it. Which is a bit of a problem because of the way our Cappy throws are restricted. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, the moon spawns out there, so we have to make our way back there. But if we die, we're okay. I'm going to try not to die because dying hurts, but if we do, it's it's not like at the end of the world or anything in this situation. Okay, I'm going to leave both of these spinies under this piece so I can get them out of the way. There we go. Uh. Okie doke. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Wow, that was hard. <laughs> As usual, the, like, hidden secret moon was the easier of the two. This seems to happen a lot, especially in this run. Mm. Okay, how are we doing? Um, okay. Uh, there's a couple more moons right, like, right where we are. So let's have a quick look around. Just that, that's one we can just dive to get, so let's go grab it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, just a bunch of ex exploration-based moons, which I think is pretty cute. Of course, the fact that they're in the moon rock and it just tells you where they are means it's not that exploration-y, but, you know, it's still fun. I don't mind. I, en I just enjoy having extra moons to get. I, I like how much bonus content post-game has in this game. Because there's a lot, and it it's great. Um, 
there's supposed to be one just around here somewhere. Oh, right, it's up here. It's up here. Uh, you can see, if you look closely, this part of the sand here is sparkling now. As though there's something buried here. Because there is. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh. Okay, what still needs done? Uh, should be another moon. I think that sparkle over there is another moon. Nope, it's coins. Hmm. Well, there should be one just around where we are right now, so... Let me just try to remember where it is. <laughs> it might be un under the water, maybe? Let me see. Like, it's pretty much this location. It's just here. So, I'm guessing it's underwater somewhere. Uh, one of the mi like minor problems with the map in this game is that there's no vertical indication whatsoever. In my opinion, it's it's more of a problem in Breath of the Wild, which does the same thing with the 2D map, but the you know 3D world. All oh, right, right. Now uh, you can see that this pole I just climbed up is sparkling, because if we throw Cappy at it, she will spin around and say her name in a cute voice. Cappy. <laughs> God, I love this game. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, we're making good progress. Uh, we still need to get the bird, which is annoying. I don't, I don't want to get the bird. But you know, we have we have a bunch of ways to get there fairly easily, so it's not that huge a deal. It's still annoying though. Um, is that the bird? The one, that one there, I can see. Um, I think it might be. Yeah, there's the bird. Uh, let's try going after it with Glidon. I don't know how well this is going to work. Accidentally opening the map, but I'm profit. Wow, that actually worked really well. Um, to actually get that, I might want to use a Gushin to get the height to reach where the moon now is. <laughs> yeah! So, because of the way the bird flies, it's much, much easier just to grab a Gushin to hit it in the first place instead of use Glidon like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, it works either way, really. Uh. Okay. Uh, there's a notes moon here. You're supposed to do it with the uh, cheap cheap. I'm gonna see how doable it is without one. Uh, maybe it's doable. Let's see. Maybe not. I was trying to do a spinning capsule right there and it didn't quite work the way I wanted it. We do have quite a bit of time though, maybe it would have been possible. Hmm, yeah, I get the feeling that can be done with some spinning cap throws instead of using, using the cheap cheap, but I accidentally captured a cheap cheap, so... ba da ba yeah! Uh, cheap cheap it is. Uh, let's see, what still needs done? The other sub area needs done, the race needs done. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, you can zoom the map, which is pretty nice. With the right stick, you just tilt forward and it zooms in. It's pretty good. Pretty nice feature. I enjoy being able to zoom. Okay, there's a moon just sort of hanging out here. Um, there's seaweed around it, but the seaweed doesn't load in until you're a lot closer than the moon itself, so... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! It doesn't look as hidden as, it, as they probably intended <laughs> because of the seaweed not loading. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so there should be another sub area. I think it's on top of this platform somewhere. Mm, doesn't look like it. Uh, let's just try and do some. Oh, there it is. It's got little fishies swimming around. I forget what this one's about. I forget what most of these levels are about. Oh, this one! Right. Uh, this is a Pokio based challenge, even though this kingdom does not otherwise have any Pokios in it, which is an interesting choice. Uh, basically, these. Uh, bombs are rolling around, you want to explode all of those rocks right there in front of the... like directly in front of the moon there. Uh, it's a little tricky. Mostly because the space you have to work with is quite small. Uh, but yeah, you blow up all of those, then the ramp thingy will fall down, which lets you launch the bombs all the way up to where the moon is and blow up the rocks that are stopping you from reaching it. Like that. Yeah. I 
should blow up these ones, honestly. Just to get them out of the way. There we go. It's hard. Would have been useful, like, before I took damage a second ago. <laughs> so, you just pop all of those. That falls down, you can get the moon. However, there are two moons in here. And the other one is over there. Uh, to get it, you have to make, like, a trick shot sort of thing. Where you... Launch the bomb like that, and it twirls all the way around and gets the moon. They're both pretty easy. Uh, I don't think it's doable without the Pokio because there's no other way to get the bombs to hit the right spots. But uh, bah, yeah, a lot. You could probably go with a Pokio into shooting the bombs into the right spots instead of capturing one. So you could probably do it without capturing a Pokio, but not without a Pokio. For whatever reason, if you throw Cappy at the bombs, it doesn't knock them away the same way poking them with your beak does. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's the other sub area done. That one was much, much easier, mostly because it was capture based and therefore completely unaffected. Uh, okay, we still have the one that's on the glass. We have one above Hot Spring Island. Uh, this one often tricks me because I forget where it is, like vertically. Uh, it's above the island, up there. Uh, so the way you get up there is basically you get a gush in and you just fly up. Uh, I'm, there might be a way to do it without a gush in? Maybe. It looks really high though. But yeah, if you have a gush in, it's not hard. You just gotta get yourself into the right sort of position and fly up and grab it. Maybe if you bounce off one of the umbrellas. Hang on, let, let me try. Let me try. I want to see if I can do it gush -inless. How much height do you get from that? It doesn't look like enough, but maybe up you could do that and then bounce off Cappy at the right spot. Ooh, no, that doesn't look like enough height. Hmm. There might be a way to do it, but it would be like really tricky and technical, I'm guessing. Yeah, the amount of bounce you get doesn't, like, when you bounce off the umbrella there, it's always the same. Oh, what a cutie. I love Cappy so much. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before, but I really love her. She's so precious. She's just such a sweetie, and, and, she, and she makes me so happy. And I love that she's... In, da, 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 da. Yeah! I love that she's in this game, and, 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 and my hat friend. That I get to bounce off repeatedly. <laughs> and, and throw. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so there's one more moon just sort of out in the open. There's the race we have to redo, and there's the moon on the glass there. Uh, I forget whether that out in the open moon is actually out in the open or it's some sort of challenge. But anyway, it's over here, so let's go have a look. Uh, I think what we have to do is come over to the trench here. Yeah, um, one of the little, like, coral pieces. There it is. That one there is now sparkling, as you can see. And so we just put Cappy on it. Cappy! And she's cute. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna do the race, we're gonna do the glass. Uh, I'll do the race first, because we're right here, and the race is just, like, at the top of this bit, where we are. Uh, there we go. And then, I guess I'll just hit the fountain to do the glass. I I'm pretty sure you can jump up there, but it's... It's just tricky, and annoying, and normal jumpable. Uh, okay, we'll do the race. So yeah, the first part, you want to capture a fish so you can swim up to the surface much faster. Uh, and then, once you're on the surface, you want to grab a Gushin so that you can fly over there. You can also use the rocket flowers, but I usually use a Gushin. No, Mario! Why would you do this? You're coming fifth now, what are you doing, my man? Thankfully, the fish is, like, really fast compared to everyone. You can see, I'm now coming second. So yeah, you could use a rocket flower, but I think... Wait, where did the Gushin go? Oh, I see. Alright. Then, yeah, using a Gushin... Oh, actually, they're way ahead of me. God. Hmm. I may need a better strategy. <laughs> Maybe I need a rocket flower. Oh, no, I won the race. Never mind. 
I, I, I thought they got ahead of me, but they, they didn't. <laughs> Alright then. <sighs> A power moon? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, one more moon to get, which is the one on the glass. Uh, I might try to climb it just one more time, see if I can do it. Um, and then we're done for this kingdom. Uh, we will be at 70 out of 71, and the last one is impossible. I believe it is, however, the last impossible moon, so every kingdom after this should be 100% doable. And we bonked again. <laughs> Mario, please. <laughs> okay, there. Okay. Uh, so you can't wall jump on those pieces, which makes this a lot harder than it otherwise would be. Also, I'm accidentally diving, which makes this a lot harder than it otherwise would be. Okay, let's see here. I'll give it a couple of tries, and then I will just use a fountain and do it the easy way. I'm convinced it's possible. I don't know if I can pull it off, though. Um, I'm not the best Odyssey player in the world, as may be apparent from how often I have died while playing through this challenge. <laughs> oh, it's Mario, stop diving. That's enough. Thank you. So yeah, that part's really easy, uh, getting up here, but getting up onto the glass, top part from here is, is harder. Um. Ah, oh, damn. Um. Okay, yeah, if you could wall jump off the actual handles, that would make it really, really easy, but you can't. Um. Okay, I'm just going to hit a fountain, and I'm going to pull out a video. So yeah, there's a fountain over here we can use bounce and just jump in. Uh, those fountains can replenish your water as a as a gushion, which is handy in some situations. Um, I believe it's this handle. Yeah, it's the same one as where the moon on the inside is. So it's pretty easy to find. So yeah, you just have to slide down here and get it and it's super easy. Yeah! But I'm pretty sure there's a way to climb up on top of this handle from down there. If I got a gushing, it would be easy. Let's, let's give that a try. See if a gushing can actually do that. I think they can. Yeah, that's that's hilariously easy, actually. See? Easy peasy. But I think you can do it with just Mario. I just can't quite pull it off. So yeah, if you fly through this fountain, you can see it fills up your water. You actually can't fly through it, but you can touch it, and that, and that fills up the water when you do it. And you accidentally uncapture and therefore fall into the fountain again. Hi Tiara. Are you on a date with Princess Reach? Oh my gosh, look at those girlfriends. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them so much. Look, look, they're, they're telling little jokes. Oh, look how happy they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I ship it so much. Okay, let's head on back and cash in our moons now. So we got 20 moons. That's pretty good. Uh, we got every moon that was in the moon rock. We have all but one of the moons in this kingdom, and the one that is left requires us to stop crouching, so we're not going to get it. <sighs> 574 moons. And, well, that's it for this video. We're done in Bub Lane. Um, actually, I'll head on to the next kingdom in the same video. That's what I've been doing. For the most part. Okay, so, yeah. Next video, we will be doing the story of Luncheon. Because, in the previous visit to Luncheon, we did most of the story, but we stopped short of the final story moon. So, we'll be doing that, and then probably we'll be doing the hint art, which requires us to leave the kingdom, because... That's a convenient way to reload the kingdom into its, into its post-story version. 
and unlock all the other A-side moons we want to do. Uh, I believe everything here should be doable. Um, there's a 2D area in this kingdom that we skipped earlier because it was super easy to skip and I assumed it was impossible to do. It's not, so we will be doing that to get the purple coins out of it. Um, that's all it offers, just some purples, but we're trying to get a bunch of purple coins, so you know. Um, anyway, uh, that'll be next time. For now, thanks for watching, and I was going to say Woomy, but we're not in the Woomy kingdom anymore. Um, Vimo. <laughs> it's the Vimo kingdom now. <laughs>